that he know that Will Smith raped Jaden. He raped Bashir and he raped Neek Mills and you know it, Bilal. Now you know how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly to a sand, but they'll still get you. He's Philly though, Jay, it's Philly. You know, <laughs> he meek milk. As far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. You know, he's surrounded by a whole lot of strength. He's surrounded by a whole lot of love. And all he has to do is add discipline. And he gonna be all right. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a doll. Burr Gray, known for his role as Hakey Lion on Empire, has been dropping bombshells about Hollywood's biggest names, including Will Smith, who acted as a mentor to him. Gray has been dropping highly elite people in the industry, including Smith, who was accused of getting too cozy with him. He has also insinuated that beloved Bishop and Pastor T.D. Jakes was involved in a nasty business. This sudden shift in behavior has raised questions about the fruitfulness of Gray's career and the reputation of the industry. Sometimes, three times a week, me and the driver be outside. He'll run into the Turkish bath. Burr Gray's recent social media accusations has sparked curiosity and controversy due to the stark contrast between their public personas and the sinister actions of actors Will Smith, T.D., and Jakes. Gray describes Will Smith as a beloved actor and global icon, while Jakes is a prominent religious leader and motivational speaker. The scandal has left fans shocked and intrigued by Gray's posts filled with detailed accounts and cryptic hints. The path of Gray's career is puzzling, as he was on the brink of even greater success with his talent, charisma, and fan base. However, instead of seeing him in new roles, he seemingly disappeared. Some believe that there were influential people behind the scenes pulling strings to keep Briar's rise from the limelight. Gray's controversial social media posts have been filled with details about big names in Hollywood, alleging dark and twisted things, making it hard to ignore the possibility that his sudden absence from the screen might be connected to the very secrets he's now trying to expose. Gray's entrance into the entertainment industry was marked by the pivotal influence of Charlie Mack, a well-connected Hollywood figure who helped him land an online audition for Empire. His portrayal of Hakey Lion became a career-defining role, and Mack introduced Breer to Will Smith, establishing a mentor-mentee relationship that seemed like the perfect setup for success. However, this link would soon become the reason for his downfall. As Breyer's career began to falter, whispers and rumors painted a much darker picture of Will Smith and Diddy despite their immense success. Public personas have long been the subjects of unsettling industry rumors, with stories of inappropriate behavior involving other men casting a shadow over their interactions with rising stars like Breyer. As Breyer's career began to falter, the narrative became more tangled, with allegations surfaced that Will Smith and Diddy's involvement in Briar's life was not just professional, but part of a more sinister dynamic. With Gray's recent social media revelations, the mystery surrounding his career's sudden downturn is being scrutinized more than ever. Was Briar a victim of the darker side of Hollywood, or are these stories a way for him to make sense of his abrupt fall? So where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, Wherever you want to go. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Jaguar Wright claims that Burr Gray and other participants in a mentorship program were not having a good time, with rumors suggesting they were screaming and running out of the house. Burr has sued Will Smith for $50 million in damages indicating the severe impact of the program on his life. This is not the first time Hollywood has seen this issue, with big stars preying on young men with dreams of success. This trend is concerning, 
as it suggests a darker side to Br'er Gray's public image. Unsettling reports have also been made about Diddy's involvement with younger individuals, which gained more attention after Cassie's lawsuit revealed shocking details about his preferences and disturbing activities. It is time for people to speak out against this unhealthy trend in Hollywood. Burr Gray's sudden downfall after his success on Empire has sparked speculation about his potential victimization by powerful figures in the industry. Arkit and Jaguar writes revelations about Will Smith add credibility to rumors about his past, suggesting that his mentorship of young talents may have had ulterior motives. It is unsettling to think that someone as respected as Will could have been involved in such behavior. The puzzle seems to fit together, suggesting Briar's career woes might be more than just bad luck. Burr Gray's career trajectory has been a subject of speculation, with rumors suggesting that he was introduced to Diddy by Will Smith. This raises questions about what might have happened behind closed doors, and Burr's career trajectory has taken a nosedive after Empire. Burr's career took a nosedive after Empire, and rumors started flying that he was blacklisted because he refused to go along with something uncomfortable. In July 2020, Brer was involved in a disturbing domestic violence incident which revealed his marriage and led to a viral arrest. This legal trouble made his already struggling career even harder to salvage. People began to wonder if Burr's downfall was just about his own mistakes, as many believed he was exploited by the very people he trusted in the industry. Brer was out there on the streets performing wherever he could to scrape up enough cash for food and studio time. Deep down, he had a Hollywood dream, wanting to be like those legends who seamlessly switched from rapping to acting like Ice Cube and Queen Latifah. Breaking into the showbiz isn't easy, especially when you're just starting out. Brer needed a mentor, and who better than Will Smith? He's done it all in music movies, and he's like the ultimate role model for any aspiring artist. Rumors have surfaced suggesting that Brer Gray was involved with Bishop T.D. Jakes, a prominent religious leader and motivational speaker. The idea that Brer, a young actor, might have had an association with someone as respected as Bishop Jake adds a new twist to his story. Rumors suggest that Will Smith played a pivotal role in connecting Brer Gray with Bishop Jakes, and this suggests a much darker undercurrent to their relationships. Diddy has been in the spotlight before with unsettling stories involving Justin Bieber. People have long whispered about the questionable relationships these powerful men have had with younger individuals. Diddy's history with Justin Bieber raised eyebrows back in the day, and Bishop T.D. Jake, despite his respected status, hasn't been immune to rumors suggesting he too might have been involved in such troubling activities. You stand on red carpets with the and you sell an image of lies. Then you influence the public and ask the public to covet and want your life. Who wants? Who wants that? Who jealous of that? Bunch of whack too afraid to find a real man and real love. Burr Gray's story revolves around Justin Bieber's encounter with Diddy at the age of 16. The encounter, documented and shared on YouTube, raised eyebrows as it depicted Bieber in various situations with Diddy, raising concerns among viewers. The incident highlights the awkwardness and discomfort experienced by young artists during their early music careers. And all these black running around marrying these sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's been told the truth about their relationships? I want you to meet my husband. He a fat. <laughs> Would you like to come over? <laughs> I'll make cookies. 
Now, Jag, you know. Uh, That's what these is doing. The recent spotlight on rapper Jay Z and the rumors surrounding him has led to a renewed interest in his celebrity life. The comments section on the 48 Hours video, released on Justin Bieber's channel, has been reopened, with viewers analyzing the situation and sharing their thoughts. People are now searching for clues or signs of anything untoward what once seemed harmless celebrity antics. One notable moment in the video was when Diddy showed Justin a Ferrari in a garage, promising him to drive it as soon as he turned 16, and even going as far as to say Justin could have his house when he turned 18. While these gestures may seem playful and innocent, fans have begun to question their true motives. Some have pointed out that these lavish gifts seem to be rewards for undisclosed actions that Justin may have been doing behind the scenes. The recent spotlight on Diddy has prompted many to reconsider their silence rumors about hosting lavish parties that allegedly involved gay individuals, including Will Smith. The notion that such influential figures could be connected to activities of this nature has added fuel to the speculation surrounding their behavior. While these rumors have never been substantiated, they have still lingered in the public consciousness, contributing to a sense of unease about the true nature of his relationships and activities behind closed doors. The fact that both Diddy and Will Smith are now mentioned in the same breath in connection to these alleged parties only deepens the mystery. I would have been, I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you were at your wit's end? That is my point of view. Grace claimed that Puff and Bishop have been involved with him is likely accurate, as Puff's bodyguard recounted a similar story involving the rapper and other men. That he know that Will Smith raped Jaden, he raped Bashir, and he raped Meek Mills, and you know it, Bilal. Now you know how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly to a sand, but they'll still get you. He's Philly though, Jay. He's Philly. You know, <laughs> he meek milk. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. The allegations surrounding Diddy Diddy's sexuality and alleged exploitation of young men and boys have been circulating since the 1990s. However, what is particularly troubling is the accusation that he has used his power and influence in the industry to abuse, exploit, and take advantage of vulnerable individuals. In recent weeks, Diddy has found himself embroiled in a series of lawsuits that accuse him of misconduct. This chain reaction of accusations from more of his alleged victims, including individuals who claim to have been groomed by Diddy over the years, with some pointing fingers at high-profile stars like Justin Bieber and Usher. Some even suggest that Puff and Will Smith, in exchange for promising Br'er Gray, a better career path might have handed him over to Bishop T.D. Jake for some cash. A few months back, the internet was buzzing with accusations claiming that Bishop T.D. Jake was a regular at Diddy's famous freak-off parties. The rumors got so intense that the respected pastor actually had to address them the whole time. News host Jermaine McKinley reported getting a message from a source close to Diddy's ex Cassie Ventura, apparently turning in a USB device belonging to her late girlfriend Kim Porter, which supposedly contained footage of parties hosted by Diddy with Jake allegedly in attendance. Diddy's mansion was recently raided by Homeland Security, raising the possibility that any potentially incriminating footage could have been seized by the authorities, with federal agents involved. The timing of the raid could be more curious coming at a time when allegations and rumors about Diddy's involvement in questionable activities have been swirling. With the young rapper coming out with all the truths, many other artists have started speaking up too during his final lap. 50 Cent recently spilled the beans about why he's been ghosting Diddy's parties in the middle of his performance, calling out the Bad Boy Entertainment CEO, saying that it's not his kind of party. Mark Curry, 
a former bad boy artist, opened up about the events in an interview, saying he would get a heads up about the parties beforehand with a little warning thrown in. Some are suggesting that Brewer Gray might have been invited to these parties under the guise of furthering his career only to be subjected to something far more sinister. Will Smith and Girard a reaction to Jaden Smith being gay? I just want to say Tyler the Creator is the best friend in the world and I love him so fucking much. And I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say but Tyler's my motherfucking boyfriend. And he's been my motherfucking boyfriend my whole fucking life. Tyler, the creator, is my fucking boyfriend. It's true. Gay marriage isn't legal in Australia yet. They're dicks. Maybe, Maybe one day. That will be, but that's like, why does that shit matter? I know. Like, if he wanna f dudes or whatever, why does that matter? Like, why do we care? I've never like, figured that's that out. That's so fucking crazy. Frank's gay. And he, I use that word all the time. He doesn't care because he knows. He knows me. He knows when I say that word. I'm not thinking of someone's sexual orientation or anything. It's just another word that has no meaning. Produce. Who is that right there? <laughs> gay man, six thousand. How are uh, Norwegian girls? Pretty. Yeah, they all got this look. Yeah, but I'm in the dude, so. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah. Black dudes only? I don't even dude like black favorite? dudes at all. I'm in the white guys. Will Smith and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, have been a source of speculation in the Smith family over the past two years. The family has faced scandals such as an admitted affair with Will Revealed on her show, Will's Tell All Book, and the children's issues. Jaden Smith, son of actor Will Smith and actress Jada Pinkett Smith, has often come under fire for his actions or statements including stating that he has a boyfriend via Tyler, the Creator. In an award show, when he told everyone that Tyler, the Creator, is his boyfriend, Tyler laughed at it. This raised questions about whether he is gay. After the award show, Tyler, the Creator, responded to this by saying he was crazy but never denied it. As of now, Tyler and Jaden are good friends and spend time together. However, Jaden has never confirmed his sexuality but he has given many hints that he might be gay or something other than that. Tyler, the creator, has been dropping hints about his sexuality for the last few years, and it seems like nobody cares about it. For example, in a 2015 Rolling Stone interview, Tyler said he would go gay for 96 Leo and once posted a picture of the actor from recent Romeo and Juliet with the words, yes, boyfriend. Despite their long friendship, Many fans believe there is something between them but are not yet ready to talk about it. Tyler, the creator, and Jaden Smith have been open about their relationship, and fans are eager to see what happens next. Will Smith and Taylor Swift have been a subject of speculation and discussion in the media, with some claiming that they are not together. However, their relationship has not been confirmed, and there is no hard confirmation on their relationship. This has led to speculation about their thoughts on the matter. The topic of Will and Taylor's parenting style is often curious, as their paths to success haven't been typical, especially considering the influence their parents have in Hollywood. Will Smith has admitted multiple times that he needed to change his mindset about parenting multiple times when Will and Taylor came along. One morning, Will Smith arrived for breakfast with a shaved head and surprisingly, he picked up on his child's feelings on the matter. He had to think about the question she was asking him. Does it matter to you how I feel? This moment changed his parenting style. Will Smith also shared that he had always wanted to become a dad since he was five years old and had perceived parenting as pushing and prodding people into their vision. However, after that moment, he realized that a seed is already a thing designed by God and it's not his job to demand it to be a thing that satiates and gratifies his ego. His job is to water, nourish, and nurture that seed to become what it already is and align himself with that seed versus pushing and prodding. Both Will and Taylor have shown love for their kids and protected them against those that would mock or judge them just because of their atypical lives. One time, Jaden wanted to move out of the house he was living in with his parents and they realized that they couldn't stop him or should they. 
They also knew that they had an enormous pressure on them because of who their parents were. Jaden noticed how his sister managed it and became herself in spite of her last name. He realized that Willow changed her name at some point in time and that she was no longer Willow Smith. Will and Taylor wanted their children to be who they wanted to be. And if that meant a different orientation than they are, that's fine. In terms of judgment, there are some who claim that Will Smith doesn't approve of his son being potentially gay. However, if you listen to their statements about their parenting styles and love for their children, you would know this is inaccurate. Will and Taylor have been very open about their own love lives and will even mention that he wanted a harem of women at one time before realizing how terrible it was. In conclusion, Will and Taylor Smith have been a fascinating couple with a unique perspective on parenting and their relationship with their children. Their openness about their love lives and their openness about their own relationships have made them a fascinating couple to watch. The Smith family has expressed their love for Jaden Smith despite his sexual orientation. They have previously expressed their love for him and this sentiment is evident in their past statements. The Smith family's upcoming announcements raise questions about the impact of Jaden Smith's sexual orientation on their lives. The family's actions and beliefs are being scrutinized and viewers are encouraged to share their thoughts in the comments section. The problem was I married a playboy. I got proof, you know? What kind I, of proof? My butler called and said, you know, um, Mr. Martin is in the guest house and he's coming to the big house. And I thought that that was disrespectful to even be in the guest house. A man knows what a man <laughs> needs. The saga involving Lisa Ray McCoy and Dwayne Martin has captured the public's attention. The star of the Players Club recently revealed her marriage's demise, alleging the involvement of Dwayne Martin and Will Smith. McCoy later reiterated her statement on The Wendy Williams Show, stating that Dwayne Martin was the reason her marriage with Michael McKissick ended. The story highlights the complex connections between celebrity relationships and the complexities of their relationships. I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. In an interview, she revealed that Dwayne Martin would introduce her husband to industry friends, causing outright disrespect to their union. The problem was I married a playboy. Dwayne Martin has been linked to rumors of an ongoing romance with longtime friend Will Smith. They first met in 1993 on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where Dwayne was featured in an episode entitled, It is better to have loved and lost it. The pair shared frames and pictures, often enjoying each other's company. Will Smith has little to no boundaries when it comes to engaging with other men, and rumors about his homosexuality lit up in 1993 when he portrayed the role of a gay con artist in Six Degrees of Separation. Both Dwayne and Will denied the claims, but their marriage quickly ended. In 1992, Smith married Sherry Zampino, divorced in 1995 and married Jada Pinkett two years later. Dwayne dated Martin actress Tisha Campbell and tied the knot in 1996. In 2013, the hot topic concern about Will's sexuality flared up again due to an elusive answer provided by Jada during a candid interview with a well-known tabloid publication. Rumors suggested trouble in paradise for the married couple Pinkett and Smith, even suggesting they might soon divorce. However, they survived this troubling time in their relationship and ended up sparking divorce rumors again nine years later. During the interview, Jada responded to a tough question with a slightly vague answer, encouraging Will to be himself and decide for himself. People took her response as an indication that Smith might be gay, sparking widespread discussion. Jada also admitted to her entanglement with singer August Altina in recent interviews. Somehow within that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin and they became better friends than what me and my husband did and I couldn't understand that for the love of God. Jada Pinkett Smith, a former American actress, has been accused of having intimate relationships with fellow men, including Will Dwayne. In a 2018 clip, she revealed that she never wanted to get married and that she saw her mother in shock when she revealed this. This could be an indication that Jada knew Will had secret desires from the world, as Will had given Dwayne $1.4 million for his house in 2012. 
The fact that Jada didn't want to be married to Will could be an indication that she knew he had intimate relationships with fellow men. Will has always tried to hide his alleged secret desires from the world by first marrying Jada and then using his money. In 2012, Will gave Dwayne $1.4 million for his house, which came into public knowledge when Dwayne and Tisha Campbell Martin filed for bankruptcy and then divorced. In 2020, rumors of shipping Will and Dwayne made headlines due to an Instagram post by Dwayne's now ex-wife Tisha. Tisha shared a picture featuring a wise quote that alluded to the truth of always being victorious, which was taken as a subliminal message pointing to her former husband's past behavior. Some suggestions even went as far as insisting that Tisha called Smith out for being gay. Tisha tweeted at the time that all the rumors happened to be false, that the Smiths would not be divorcing, and that Will and Dwayne remained good friends. However, despite Tisha's adamant stance on the subject, tabloids continued to publish wild suggestions following an exotic vacation, where Will and Dwayne were snapped enjoying local cuisine, had a local dinner in Trinidad. Tisha recently backed Lisa Ray's comments on Dwayne ruining her marriage to Michael in 2019. Campbell co-signed Lisa Ray's story that her former co-star and friend helped ruin her marriage to Mike Misick. Campbell went on Instagram, lived to show her support for her friend, sharing her uncensored story and expressing her pride in being so honest. Fans have always been convinced that Dwayne had intimate relationships with men and that Will was the one who introduced him to it. One fan commented that Will and Dwayne were lovers while another fan commented that people are so blind it's obvious they were more than friends. Lisa Ray is scared of the consequences of talking about gay affairs without the backlash, but she truly loved her husband anyway. And so what? Diddy speaks on his gay affair with Will Smith. And Tupac was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. No, he was gay and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? That shit, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what Tupac... I guess he wanted to get up out of the Illuminati or something. The theory of Will Smith being gay or bisexual has been around since the mid-1990s, with his marriage to Jada Pinkett rumored to be a cover-up for an open relationship. However, societal attitudes have changed, and Seen Combs, also known as Diddy, has faced speculation about his sexuality in 2021. A tweet he made during the BET Awards show where Lil Nas X performed sparked further discussions and ridicule from some supporters. Will Smith and Diddy have made moves that have led fans to believe they are hiding something. The friendship between Diddy and Will Smith is close, but there might have been ugly details between the lines of their relationship. The couple broke into the entertainment industry in the 90 seconds with their rap prowess and decided the fact that they were in the same line of work. They had a lot of mutual friends and shared incredible experiences at several top-tier events, including parties and award shows. Will Smith has built a name for himself with his family, getting married to another Hollywood star, Jada Pinkett Smith, and together they have two kids who are also stars in the industry. Since the actor's unfortunate explosion at the Oscars, his life has become the topic of several conversations on the internet. And word on the street, is that things may not exactly be as clear-cut as most of us would like to believe now. The Smiths have publicly stated that they have an open relationship and are polyamorous, allowing for relationships with others while still maintaining their commitment to each other. This details kind of bump head with the original theory of him being gay because it proves that he's had relations with both men and women. Another actress, Tisha Campbell, told the world in 2020 that Smith and her ex-husband Dwayne Martin were involved, but she later refuted her claims on social media. Trisha Paytas, a controversial YouTuber, claimed she had evidence that the actor was having an affair with a male dancer. In conclusion, the rumors surrounding Will Smith's sexuality have been circulating on the internet, with many users taking the capitalization of Will Smith's statement 
as a jab at the pair who have been claiming to only be best friends. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will and Chris, we're going to solve that like family at the gold party. Okay, but right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Diddy, the founder of Bad Boy Records, has faced rumors about his sexual orientation. Despite his reputation as a womanizer and romantic relationships with attractive women, rumors have been circulating about his white preferences since his early days at Bad Boy Records. A Twitter story suggests that Diddy is about to step out of the closet to accept his truth. However, Diddy has also made questionable moves in the past such as his involvement in a hit song called Blood Orange, which was loved by the LGBT community. The video also featured other big names like Tyler the Creator and ASA Piraki. Diddy has also been labeled gay on several occasions but has insisted he is straight. The video, which featured a series of gay couples who are also black, was seen as Diddy's way of coming out. During his verse on the song, it appeared as though Diddy was making a confession about his sexual orientation. What is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way like I really want to be loved? Diddy Smith, a multi-talented musician, has faced numerous rumors and questions about his sexual orientation. One such rumor was his appearance on Norse podcast, where he appeared to be flirting with fellow rapper Fabulous. Another rumor claimed that he had caught Diddy in a club with another man in a romantic moment. A recent suggestion from someone who knows Diddy better hinted at his potential gay identity. Celebrity trainer Alex Fine, married to Diddy's ex Cassie, posted a picture of people holding balloons in different colors, reading love at a pride celebration on Instagram. The post was later deleted, but Fine also shared a link to an LGBT plus foundation which helps people in the closet and gotta move on. Some people believe that Fine is trying to pass on that Diddy is bisexual and that he might be angry that he has spoken about his wife in the past. In 2018, Diddy dropped his first single in over half a decade, Get a Move On, which was believed to be a jab at Cassie, now Alexa's wife. Cassie denied these allegations, but both Smith and Diddy still have unresolved questions regarding their relationships. Diddy's close friendship with Smith has led to conflict between the two stars, as seen in the Oscar slap incident. Diddy appeared on stage to offer to act as a mediator between the feuding stars, despite the fact that the Smith family appears to be open-minded. In conclusion, Diddy's relationship with Cassie and his close friendship with Smith have been a source of speculation and uncertainty. Jay Pinkett really, really, really good listen. How about worry about your daughter being naked in bed at 13 with her 20 year old boyfriend on the internet? How about worry about that? How about worry about your fucking cheating husband fucking my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to? How about talk about that? The rapper expresses a sense of clarity and optimism, stating that they are moving forward with love, which may have been a mere lookout for a friend or something more, and concludes the video with a final goodbye.